What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel! So I'm back with another worst reviewed video. So I went on Yelp and I searched all over the place to see where I could find another worst reviewed nail salon in my area. And I came across another pretty bad place. <coughs> so I'm gonna read you guys a few of the reviews from this nail salon. Terrible outcome. I got 10 fingers that look like a beaver's front teeth. <coughs> no. Said, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> okay. The owner yells and screams the whole time you're there. Not a relaxing experience at all. Very irritating. I also got burned with the hot rocks and they cut my heel on the foot for scrubbing so hard. Yikes. Warning. Worst experience by far. I broke two nails. <gasps> oh my guys! This looks horrible. I've never seen anything like this. This is <gasps> I I'm speechless. I, I don't even know what to say. Like this looks absolutely horrific. <gasps> oh my god. I broke two nails when I barely got them done on the first night. Terrible! Most painful pedicure ever and poorly done. The day after, we have sore feet, including blood spots, actual cuts on our feet, and polish already coming off. This looks so bad. Do not come to this salon if you value your health. This salon should be shut down because it is a safety hazard. My mom went to the salon and due to unclean nail instruments, she's in bed with a fever sick all over and an infection coming from her nail and cuticle. <gasps> oh my gosh. That looks absolutely disgusting and just scary. I want to cry. I feel so bad for these people and I can't believe I'm going to go <laughs> and I'm so scared to go to this place. I really don't want to get no infections or cuts or nothing. I'm... <laughs> Okay, as you can see, this place is horrible. Like the reviews and the pictures are horrific and I really don't wanna go, but we're gonna just, we're gonna do this. So let's head out. All right guys, I just got here to the nail salon. By the way, this is the picture I'm gonna be showing them. This is what I wanna get done. You know, since it's spooky season, I wanted to get some slasher killer monster Halloween nails. So I'm really excited about these nails and I hope they can do them, but we'll find out. All right, let's go. Hi, uh, acrylic, full set, acrylic, just me. But I wanna know if you guys can do this, um, the dripping, okay.
Okay guys, that was quite an experience. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The only thing that looks kind of weird is that like stitch thing right there. It looks like a zebra snake or something, I don't know. But the rest of them came out really, really cool. I love them. The only bad things that I can say were that the tools that they used looked very worn out, very rusty and very dirty. So no wonder why a couple of people have gotten infections. And also the lady doing my nails would not stop talking like she just kept blabbering her mouth talking and laughing blah 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 also the first guy that actually applied the fake nails he put on so much glue that a lot of my skin got stuck to the nail and i don't know if you guys can see it's so sunny but if you can see right there there's like a lot of crust that's like all the dried up glue my skin is like literally glued on to the bottom of these nails. It's kind of weird. That's the only thing too that I didn't really like. Oh, also another thing guys. So the nails did turn out to be pretty pricey too. It was $75 and then I tipped her. So altogether, I almost spent about $90 on these nails. And it was really odd because when we were discussing what I wanted to get done, First I asked for acrylic, but of course for whatever reason these nail salons, they never want to use acrylic on you because I'm assuming that's the cheapest option and they obviously want to make more money. So she instantly suggested that I either do the dip or the shellac and she kept on insisting and insisting even though I specifically said acrylic and also she can barely speak English. So one thing led to another, we kept like going back and forth and then she just said something about powder so I just agreed she gave me an estimate she said okay well with what you want to get done it's going to be $55 and I said okay that sounds reasonable so then when it's time to pay she says 75 <laughs> so that was one thing that I thought was pretty shady if you mention a price it should be firm you know no surprises but guys I really like the way these came out they look very Freddy Cougar slasher Michael Myers, Halloween. I'm definitely getting Halloween vibes with these nails. To be honest, guys, the worst reviewed nail salon turned out to be not so bad after all. I mean, look at these nails. It looks just like the picture I showed her. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you guys don't miss a thing. I post new videos every week. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'm out.